Hey everybody, this is the American Nightmare, Cody Rose. That's Friday right. Night Smackdown is coming to the KFC Yum Center, and we have with us none other than, I guess we can now call him a friend of the show. Once you're on the show twice, that officially makes you a friend of the show. The undisputed champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. What's up, man? Welcome back to Louisville. I, uh, I'm taken aback by the fact that, and thank you, I, I am a friend of the show. There you go. Uh, that's right. I'm taken aback by the fact that you guys show his name, The Baby Face. Yes. How long has The Baby Face been around? Oh, man. What is it, about uh, three years now? About three years. Yeah. I think we started the uh, after our first review show was right before WrestleMania and COVID. That yeah, year. the COVID year. That's the, right. Uh, uh, yeah, no, yeah. they came back. It was in Tampa. That's Okay, when yeah. Billy said, we should just, we love talking wrestling. He said, dude, we should just start a podcast. And I'm like, well, look at that. And now you, all these years later, we got the WWE champion <laughs> in guys, studio. Do you feel that you are baby faces as, as oh, people man. and podcasters? Austin, and I know. Austin is a heel big time, especially uh, on Twitter, dude. Uh, I can be a this little guy. messy sometimes. Baby face is a really tricky term. It, it Well, it is they nowadays. Were ex- they were extinct for a while. You know, yeah. They were very endangered <laughs> for a while. And now it's like a thing where the, the classic, you know, you hear all the time the, the, the white meat classic mm-hmm. uh classic baby face it's made its way back somehow somewhere. exactly in the form of cody Rhodes, right yes. i mean you I you like are I, the guy right I feel now like it's kind of my spot it is yeah, it is why you're i feel crushing. like a little bit of like love to the fact that you call yourself the baby faces because you're both young and you both that's part of you. it too. more yeah. likely would have called <laughs> yourselves like the heels or like hard way or some sort of inside cut that's not as inside as people that's think. That's what we were kind of yeah, thinking this on. Is, this is more on the surface. This is real. There you go. I trust a guy with the baby faces shirt on Absolutely. far more than like uh, some of the names of the, the jobbers, right? Yeah. The curtain jerkers. <laughs> enhancement podcasts. Yeah. I'm like, come on, man. I don't <laughs> that's want that. That's actually a good yeah. one. Yeah. That's, the that's, enhancement podcast is a good that's one. That's not bad. That's <laughs> not too bad. I was really? going to do, do a podcast with Conrad Thompson. We were going to call it Y'all In. This is Y'all before in. I went back to WWE because I wasn't sure. I was like, hey, maybe I should do this podcast for a while. Yeah. yeah. Put a mic in front of you and let you talk. Well, Billy's like, what are you about to turn, 25 now? Oh, and give me a little more credit. Okay. 27. Okay, 27. Okay, 27. Yeah. Well, I mean, he still has an actual baby. Yeah. So, like, yeah. I think he carries the weight of the of the actual <laughs> name. But you got everything good happens to you in your 30s. That's what everybody keeps mm-hmm. telling yeah, me, too. Everything, I'm, everything good. How old are you? I just turned 31. Yeah. Is He's in the prime. Week? Yes. It's birthday week. Birthday week. This it's going down. Um, yeah, everything good happens to you in your thirties. So if things are going good now, they're going pretty well. They're all yes. gonna be going even better. That's great. Thirty. So. Billy's Billy's on the move. Actually, he's moving up to Northern Kentucky. Oh, this wow. is his yeah. last day in Louisville. Somber, yeah, pretty- somber day. How how's that? This is it, huh? This is pretty much it. Yeah, I'm moving tomorrow. So I am like last night. Box is all over the place. The mm-hmm. whole the whole nine yards. So, but just good to take some time, enjoy my birthday a little bit, and then moving tomorrow. So I left Louisville. Uh, I'll never forget from the O'Charlie's parking lot mm. where I had my friends, and at the time the girl I was dating meet me there, and I don't think they were all aware I was moving. I was leaving. <laughs> oh, and. <laughs> And I, my plan was to never come back, right. sure. but not in terms of visiting, in sure. terms of I had been there as part of the, the developmental system. So when you graduate, like, you got to go. You got to yeah. get out. That was a big thing my dad told me. He's like, you got to leave. Because yep. if you don't leave, mm-hmm. you'll be on the show every Wednesday. So if you don't <laughs> leave, though, you know, and I thought, all right, I got to leave. Yeah. So you're back in Louisville today mm-hmm. at none other than 4th Street Live, legendary 4th Street Live. Yes. Oh, it is. Changed uh, a little bit. Yeah. You know, last time on the podcast, you told a little, little fun story about your 21st birthday here. So you having a little, like, PTSD being back here, you know, I mean. Well, I feel like your podcast is probably safer to discuss that I made, uh, when I first came to WWE, I made $500 a week, uh, which was the lowest you could make in terms of the developmental pay, which my, I found out later my dad had explicitly told Tommy Dreamer, pay him the lowest. <laughs> uh, <laughs> make him earn it. Uh, Look at that. Yeah, and uh, so I $500 a week, and every Wednesday night I spent all 500 of it at PT's. Yes. You guys know about PTs? Yes. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, boy. So, That's whether it was PTs. Sully's, which is no longer around, yeah. Rock Bar, PT's. So I was very uh, I was irresponsible with my funds, but <laughs> gosh... A lot of fun. A lot. I wouldn't say PTSD as much as just seeing the logo in the parking deck. Cause it's really cool to be back here. Yes, and it's it's glad to have you back. Of course, your old stomping grounds, Ohio Valley Wrestling, like we mentioned in the show. Al Snow, 
friend of the show, and uh, I think he's actually doing a comedy bit down in Florida today, so yeah. I know that he couldn't make it up for the show. Uh, I saw him after a show, uh, some maybe Lexington. I yeah, saw yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. were there. Yeah, yep. uh, I talked to him afterwards, and it was surreal to talk to him mm-hmm. because I was doing the thing I like to do at the end of the night, uh, which is just sign and take pictures yep. until they literally kick me out of the building. <laughs> <laughs> and that's like a big thing that Al probably taught me that I didn't realize he taught me. So then he was one like waiting to say hello and I'm having this whole conversation thinking like, oh man, everything you told me was was right. Uh, he's so unique as a trainer. You find a lot of people who pretend they weren't trained by Al or act like mm-hmm. they didn't love their OVW training. And uh, <laughs> to me, everything he said was, was spot on. Yeah, no doubt. So like we said, Friday Night Smackdown, taking over the Yum Center tonight, of course. And you know, you guys are on fire right now. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Ever mm-hmm. since, you know, the road to WrestleMania was incredible. Now you're the champion, keeping things rolling. We had the AJ Styles re- fake retirement uh, segment last yeah, week. Yeah, what can fans expect uh, at the Yum Center tonight when, when you when you take over the show? Well, I think it's a bit of a homecoming for a couple of us. Randy Orton will be there, another guy who was a 4400 Shepherdsville Road. Mm-hmm. Well, even before that, the old building. Uh, Randy Orton, uh, Rey Mysterio uh, versus Carlito is a nice advertising mm, match as yes. well. Uh, Bianca Belair and Jade being present, and I think we'll follow up. Obviously, we'll obviously we'll follow up on AJ not retiring when we were absolutely certain he was retiring. <laughs> and as someone who loves wrestling and studies wrestling and considers himself a historian of wrestling, not sure how I was dumb enough to. <laughs> to, to take the bait uh, but uh, we'll get to the bottom of the why tonight and very much look forward to the Yum Center what That's a right. great name for a building right. by the way because it's been the Yum Center for a minute since the since the beginning since it so, opened yeah. yeah yeah keep it just don't don't let KFC like keep it <laughs> you know what I'm saying like you, these buildings you, years later have started they get some wild mm-hmm. names from what you originally remember it as a yeah. lo- if it's uh, the yum center you're not gonna be able to call it anything else it's very unique in that right because i mean it doesn't i wouldn't say it doesn't sound like intimidating but it sounds like when you say you're going to the kfc yum center people i feel like know it's louisville now yeah, and yeah. It, they just get like oh the yum center they're pleasantly surprised by it it's it's synonymous with, saw, with louisville yeah. i saw a message from somebody emailing our merchandise team it was a yum center person and, I, and then i just looked in to check in it was a merchandise chain and I realized we're doing Louisville Nightmare shirts yes. for tonight that are specific Ooh. to the Yum Center. Yes. And I thought, oh my, okay. Look at that. Okay. Those are really cool if they yeah. sell. They're hilarious <laughs> if they don't. Because then you got a lot of a lot of merch oh, laying around. Hey, so. Cody, Cody's not over in Louisville, apparently. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that didn't work, guys. <laughs> It'd be your own people sometimes in Louisville, too. That's pretty sad. It, uh, so that's that's how so Atlanta being my hometown. Sometimes you got those Atlanta magical mm-hmm. moments. Like this is my hometown. These are my people. <laughs> and another time, oh, yeah, you guys are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> they just give it to. I mean, they're just they're just straight nose with you. I mean, mm-hmm. like I said, I always remember watching the OVW, especially the Summer Sizzling series. Used to be at the uh, uh, Six Flags Six Super Flags. Summer Sizzler series. Man, that's when they used to bring the WWE talent in to like yep. face the heels. And I certainly remember. I tell Billy about this all the time. The Deuce and Domino rivalry, some of the the greatest stuff that I used to watch. Oh man, Deuce and Domino! I remember they hit me with a kendo stick and it broke over my head. And ah, I nice. Think like, oh wow, that was perfect. <laughs> oh man, yeah, Sean Spears, dude, taught me everything. Yeah, man. led me by the hand, and now he's at NXT doing it for for other people. Gosh, that dude is just a the best such yes. a good part of my louisville time yes sean spears was absolutely the dude and he was your mentor obviously of course i don't know if we say mentor no way well, he, he, he yeah, was with you right. on the ride right i hand guess man. you know you're you're you're, you're, you're you've had, prob- had some no, men- is probably the actual yeah. term you know like, <laughs> yeah he, he had all the talent man stud and another thing that's going on in SmackDown, and it doesn't seem like you've really shaken the bloodline yet they are going to have the stuff with solo sokoa he said they've got your number you just don't know it yet yeah. Do they just not know that you finally figured them out, or do you think that they just have more in their pocket? I think uh, what it is is the WWE Championship, the one we've got right here, is uh, is really just the North Star for WWE. Mm-hmm. And and that has a lot to do with what Roman made it in terms of being this coveted, most most wanted item, um, the, very much the North Star in the center of WWE's universe. and. I don't say that in a braggadocious sense. Whoever's holding it, that's yeah. where they're at. So f- when you hear your name on the show, Solo, having my number, uh, 
Drew McIntyre did a tour of the WWE HQ this week, and he's talking about how we have unfinished business. And yeah, yeah, I, I'm of the thought that I have unfinished business with everybody. And and Triple H had actually told me, um, as something that I could share as part of press conferences, we were talking about something, and he 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 mentioned to me that I am learning as we go how envious and how a lot of people will want you to have success but not that much success mm-hmm. so it's a it's a unique position to be in yeah absolutely uh, it's no secret here on the baby faces we are big roman reigns guys yes um, but yeah, this Cody, is the name the baby faces is not i, I know, <laughs> not I really know. Like, I said, like i said austin is a, a big time heel all right i have to bring him down sometimes sometimes, but, sometimes. you know we were at, we were there at wrestlemania 40 when you won the title and still as big roman reigns guys we were like, this is awesome, right? The, it yeah. was such a great moment. You, you have to appreciate it. And, and we talked about it last time, and, you know, the whole moment and all that. And, uh, you know, your whole career leading to that point. Yeah. So, I mean, now how do you follow that up, right? You, you had that such that big moment. You can't let the moment outlive the title reign. Yeah. So h- how do you feel like you, you continue that momentum here? The big thing for me was I wanted the matches to reflect a different time for the title. Um, and I don't know if the Logan one checked that box necessarily, but I can tell you the the first AJ match certainly did. Yeah. In terms of what uh, myself as champion would look like, I think a thing to avoid, a pitfall, is to make the comparisons to what Roman did because it was such a unique time. You know, Roman carrying WWE through COVID and, and having the titles for so many years and all that. Um, for me, it's all about making it my own thing. And and the reality is, if WrestleMania 40 was the peak, then it was a really incredible peak. <laughs> no yes. Kidding. But uh, but I have a good tendency to see where the puck is going in the industry, and, and I think it only gets better from here. Yeah, I, I think so, too. And like Billy said, WWE is on a roll right now. It's probably one of the hottest it's been. People are debating since the Attitude Era, one of the biggest booms in wrestling. I you can you don't have to debate it. Yeah, money wise, it is. Mo- yes, I know that's like the metric that people don't always love, but all the old timers <laughs> yes. love that yeah. metric. So uh, here yeah. in radio, we're the same way. <laughs> yeah. like, uh, ratings are you know, I mean, yeah. advertisers doing well. So. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, that's exactly how we look at it, and, and it's awesome to see you kind of spearheading that. You're back to Louisville KFC Yum Center tonight. Tickets are still on sale for as low as twenty dollars. That's right. On Ticketmaster.com, you can get in see the American Nightmare WWE Undisputed Champion Cody Rhodes. See other friends of the show like Austin Theory, Grayson Waller, Jade Cargill. It's uh, it, it's going to be an, an awesome show, Cody. What are you looking forward most when you go out into the Yum Center tonight? There was an energy years ago. I might have mentioned this the last time we talked. Uh, Freedom Hall, uh, John Cena. John Cena. I think it was two thousand eight, two thousand nine, mm-hmm. and I no joke. I, I can name on you know one hand the amount of arenas and buildings I've been in that have shaken mm-hmm. when somebody's entered or when music is played. And, and no matter what the size of the crowd was, just the acoustics of the crowd is the loudest I had ever heard a crowd. Wow, was was that moment, and it was just a great time to say, "Hey, I want to be like that. How do yeah. how do I follow that lead? What can I what can I do? How can I have that same title he has?" So to be walking in here now with that championship, um, and and just just being aware that a Louisville crowd can do that, yeah, makes for everybody to be kind of on the edge of their seat, on their toes about how they're going to go out and perform and compete. Absolutely. It's going to be a special night at the Yum Center tonight. Like Austin said, tickets still available at Ticketmaster.com. We hope to see you out there. We'll also be taking over the Yum Center socials right. all day long. So uh, it's it's going to be a fun night tonight, a special night at the Yum Center, especially with Cody Rhodes in town. Cody, thanks so much for taking the time, man, and we're excited to see what you got tonight. Thank you. I feel like we should have taken more time because you guys are actual fans. <laughs> we, we could go for hours, <laughs> man. Uh, dude, don't, don't tell <laughs> us. We know you got a lot, a lot going on. Thank so. you, guys. Yes, sir. Thank you.